All right, welcome to the quick quiz for our lesson on basic combination. If you haven't seen the video ng uh, actual lesson muna, uh, please pause this video, watch the video. I'll put it up here dito sa i button if you're watching this on YouTube so you can watch it first. It's going to be tricky to tr even try to solve this if you don't know the basic concept yet. So in this case, I'm going to show you yung aking method on how to do, to solve it after you try it out for yourself. Kaya nga siya quick quiz. So if you don't want to miss any of the content that I put out uh, dito sa YouTube, don't forget hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, just click on yung all notifications para pag meron ng bagong video or lesson. Dahil ito ay pa part 3 pa lang sa series, hindi nyo siya ma-miss. Okay? And um, yun, just get your pen and paper ready at uh, sasagutan na natin ito. Okay? So if you're ready, let's do this.
All right, let's see how you did. Okay, tingnan natin. Isa-isayin lang natin sila. So, the first question, sabi, in how many ways can 20 people shake hands? I think this will be very easy to you, lalo na kung napanood nyo na yung lesson, kasi uh, parang kahawig nito yung tanong na binigay ko doon sa problem na yun. Now, why do I start out with this? Kasi this type of problem is something you can encounter in most aptitude exams. Kapag nagpasok sila ng combination question, usually handshakes ang ginagamit. So, I really want you to master this. Now, uh, we're going to use yung uh, seat na technique, seat technique na that, I, that I use. Pero just for those na gumamit ng formula, the correct formula would look like this. 20 factorial over, you have 2 factorial, and then 20 minus 2 factorial. So, ganyan ang itsura nung inyong formula dapat. Now, using the seat technique, again, kukunin mo muna yung permutation sa taas. So, dalawa ang upuan dahil dalawa lang naman ang taong required para magkaroon ng handshake. 20 people ang pinagpa, pinagpipilian sa unang posisyon. At, at sa kabila naman, 19 na lang kasi umupo na dito yung isa. All over, and then yung number of seats. You have one seat, two uh, seats. So, ang gagawin mo is ilalagay mo dito yung two factorial or two times one. Now, all we have to do is to see if meron tayong mga pwedeng i-cancel. Dahil ang 20 ay divisible sa 2, magiging 1 na ito. So, 1 na lang nasa ilalim, tapos dito magiging 10. The answer is 10 times 19 or 190. Okay? So, again, it's just a little bit easier, a little bit faster than yung traditional method. Way faster than yung listing method. Pero I hope that you find a way that helps and uh, that you can use in the actual exam. Okay? Next natin question, how many groups of 4 can be formed out of 12 people? So again, I'm going to show you yung formula. If you're using the formula, just for you to confirm kung tama yung ginamit ninyo. 12 people ang pinagpipilian. So ang nakalagay sa taas ay 12 factorial. All over, 4 ang group. So you put 4 factorial and then 12 minus 4, 4 factorial, yung quantity na yan. So magiging basically 12 factorial over 4 factorial times 8 factorial. So again, kung formula ginamit nyo ganyan, I'm going to use the seat technique. That's the one I find faster. So, um, apat na upuan kasi apat yung, group, yung members ng group na pinaform mo. Sa so, unang upuan, 12 ang options kasi lahat sila nakatayo pa. Ibig sabihin wala pa pumipili sa kanila. Pumili ka ng isa, umupo na dito yung isa, so magiging 11 to. Umupo uli yung isa, so magiging 10 na lang. Tapos umupo uli yung isa, magiging 9. So again, kung at any point you find this too confusing, watch my video on permutation first. Kasi yung nasa taas, basically is permutation. Now, nasa ilalim, lalagay natin kung ilan yung upuan or ilan yung members ng group. So, I have 4. Tapos, factorial siya. So, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? Now, if you notice, kung mabilis na kayo, lalo na sa nanonotice yun yung mga number relations, 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 no? You have here number 12. Um, yung 12 kasi is 4 times 3. So, pwede mo to i-cancel. Tapos, cancel 4 and 3 na lang. So, ang natitira sa ilalim ay 2. Pwede mo pa siya ulit i-cancel, magiging 5 na lang ito, magiging 1 na lang siya. So, ang matitira sa taas ay 11 times 5 times 9, or 11 times 45. So, uh, what I do usually when I'm computing mentally is I just put 450 sa utak ko. So, 450 is times 10. Tapos, plus 1, more 45. So, you put 45 another here. Kasi yun ang times 1. Tapos, ina-add ko na lang siya ment mentally. So, 400 and 95. Okay? Another me method you could do when multiply ele by 11 is kung ano yung sum nitong di ba yung 45? Pag nang times 11 mo yan, ang gagawin mo na lang is yung tatlong digits na yan, you put 4 here, you put 5 here, tapos pag inad mo sila 4 plus 5 is 9, lalagay mo lang sa gitna. So, 495. Shortcut lang din yan sa times 11. No? Uh, siningit ko lang. Just, <laughs> just so you, you can see it then. So, my answer is 400 and 95. Okay? So, again, ingat-ingat lang sa cancellation. Mas bibilis kayo kapag uh, gamay na gamay nyo na yung method na yan. Okay? Number three, if seven numbered balls were to be drawn from a bag with 40 balls, how many unique batches of numbers can be drawn? So, again, lotto example to. So, may 40 na numbered balls, may seven numbered balls, tapos kailangan mong kumuha ng batches na uh, tig Pipito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dinadakot mo siya ng tig, tig pipito. Again, order doesn't matter. So, I already explained in my lesson video na classic example lang loto when it comes to combination. So, ganun din yung mangyayari dito. Nag-iba lang tayo ng mga numbers. 
So again, kung if you're using the formula, that would be 40 factorial over, tapos 7 ang numbered ball. So 7 factorial, tapos 40 minus 7, yung kuatid na yan, um, factorial. So ito yung formula. Now, if you're using yung permutation na method, 7 seats kasi 7 numbered balls ang dinudukot per, at one time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here you have 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, and you stop at 34. Bakit? Kasi again, bawat isa niyan, kapag nabunot na yung bola, hindi na siya pwedeng maging yun ulit, no? Medyo weird yung isang bola, isang bola lang yung binunot mo, tapos sabi mo, hindi, 7 numbers na ito. Okay, so again, pag dumakot ka na 7 uh, balls, 7 seats yung ma-fulfill ma nung uh, itong bola na yan. Okay? So over, so this is your permutation, over, Kung ilan yung yung iyong uh, upuan, so 7, factorial din. So 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, tapos 1. And now, we just reduce. 7 ba meron mang divisible sa 7 dito? So again, 7, alam natin, 7 times 5 is 35. So pwede mo na yung i-cancel right away. Again, if you're used to number relationships, madaling madali na yan. So 7 times 5 is 35, tanggal na siya agad. Sa 6 naman, we have 6 times 6 is 36, right? So, 6 times 6, kasi 3 and 2 is 6 then is 36, pwede mo na siya i-cancel right away. Or kung gusto nyo isa-isahin, ang gagawin ko lang doon, I would just show you, no, would be, kasi yan, 36 divided by 6 is 6, tapos 6 divided by 3 is 2, tapos ang 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, kaya lang, pwede, makakating ka rin naman doon, kaya lang I prefer na pagsasama-sama ko na sila dahil mabilis na ako doon sa multiplying by cancellation para lang mas mabilis ko na rin siya makancel. Okay? Pinakita ko lang sa inyo the way I do it, pero you can take it one cancellation at a time. Okay? Now, 40 is 4 times 10. So, ito, magiging 10 na lang siya. So, at least, di ba, lumiit na yung numbers na dinideal with mo. Meron ka ng 10, 39, 38, 37, and then ito, dahil na-cancel ng buo, na-cancel na tong buo, 34 na agad. Okay? So, ito, i-multiply mo na lang. Alright? So, uh, medyo malaki yung number. Um, sa case naman ng <laughs> civil service, usually, hindi naman ganito laking numbers yung mga binibigay. Pero there is a technique, yung LDR that I teach sa live review events. So, if you've ever been to one of the live review events or if you're part of the online review program, this is where it comes into play. Kasi if you notice, uh, may last digit tayo na na zero. So, um, alam na nila yan uh, kung ano yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. I can't say it here kasi baka mapanood ng gumagawa ng exam, lalong humirap yung exam. Pero if you've ever attended one of the uh, re the review programs that I teach, you already know what I'm talking about. Okay? So, ang answer dito would be really big kasi yung laki nung minang minumultiply nating numbers, no? So, it'll be 18,643,560 combinations. So, this is the reason why it's very hard na tumama sa loto. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo ka mag-exam din sila para sa rami tayong matulungan. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon kung bago nyo itong napapanood para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pang lessons. Marami pa akong gustong ituro sa inyo and I really hope I get to do this for as long as I possibly could. Thanks guys for watching and um, God bless you all. Never stop learning. Adja, adja kayo niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Yeah.